my name is Imogen Todd and I'm a student in the Senior Apes class this year in Environmental Science. I'm Maida Brandeiser, I'm a senior here at South and um, I am part of the Team Pave Gen to try to get uh, some tiles implemented in our school. Hi, I'm Emily, um, I'm a senior here and I'm part of the Pave Gen team working on Project Pave Gen. This is Project Pave Gen! We couldn't meet with you in person about why Pave Gen is so important to us at South. Um, We've had quite a few exciting projects this year in our AP Environmental Science class, um, including an initiative to try to ban water, bottled water in the school. Um, we've gotten excited about a lot of different topics um, and a lot of different things, but sometimes our projects just kind of stall. And um, <clears throat> I don't think it's because of a lack of motivation, it's just when we realize how complicated um, actually making change truly is. Um, but I think that PaveGen is something that we could actually accomplish. It would be, um, it would, it would be very obvious. It would be uh, something that students could all connect with. Um, sometimes it's hard to understand uh, the wide impacts that certain changes have. I know we encountered that with our water project. Um, but energy is something that I think uh, a lot of students think about. We all drive cars. We all burn fossil fuels. We all I'll use electricity, um, and having this exciting form of energy, which harvests um, energy, generates electricity from footsteps, um, that's new, that's exciting, and that's something I think uh, kids of all ages, and of course adults, can really connect with. Imagine if your walk to work in the morning would power the lights for your walk home in the evening. Now the average person during their lifetime has around 150 million footsteps, so that means that you alone, with that total amount of energy you could have generated, would power the average house for around three weeks. I like PaveGen and the project because I think it's a really interactive opportunity for all of us. It makes energy and energy efficiency really tangible. Pages of flooring tile that converts the energy from your footsteps into electricity. We wanted to develop a product that would be really durable and that would work in any environment. So the next two billion people to be born on this planet will be born to our cities. Let's think of the amount of untapped energy that we could create. Now we all know the common problems with things like solar and things like wind in that when there's no sun, there's no power. And there's a high degree of shading within our cities, which means it's very inefficient to run solar. And also with wind, when there's no wind, it's very hard to, to, to use, use a power that's not actually there. So I've been thinking about it and looking at how could you develop a concept that would allow you to harness this energy resource. Now, my idea is called PaveGen. It's a flooring tile that uses the kinetic energy from your footsteps and converts it to electricity. So it stores the energy from each footstep and then it, it uses it that can go into other applications. So we as an AIDS class thought it would be really fantastic if we could harness this electricity or even just the concept of it in order to educate students about um, renewable energy and that kind of thing. So we decided that we wanted to get PaveGen at our school and thus was the beginning of a beautiful project that took us many weeks to complete and will hopefully um, be implemented I think this fall or over the summer. Educational impact is huge. Students can take what they learn in the classroom and see it applied in a tangible, real-life solution right under their feet. I like PaveGen and the project because I think it's a really interactive opportunity for all of us. It makes energy and energy efficiency really tangible for everyone and I think it would be really cool to show it off to little kids. I have a little sister and every time I talk about it she just lights up and I think it's really very amazing that you know they have this technology but it's so limited right now and I think this is a first step towards broadening it and taking it to a public school in a community that's as unique and open to these things as Bloomington is. I would love for one day for um, people to be watching YouTube videos about Pave Genet South. And the world